today. Um, this is a guy who I, uh, I have to say, I just, I, I admire because I love stories of people overcoming adversity. I feel like, you know, um, we all need to know what we're capable of doing. We all need to know what's, what's possible. You know, what an incredible story of overcoming adversity it is. And I just feel like in this time where all of us feel like we're a little bit challenged with, uh, the state of things and, uh, you know, what are we really able to do? It just, the timing cannot be better to have him on. Um, I want to introduce uh, to you all entrepreneur and author Robert Sherrill. You, you've had an incredible life story, but but just give us the bite-sized story, you know, 60 seconds or less about who you are and, and, and what your purpose in life is. I was born and raised in uh, Dodge City Projects. Um, it was put out on, uh, when I was 13. I've been on my own since I was 13. Um, really didn't have any uh, positive uh, uh, influence in my family, so I, I chose the streets. Um, I lived that life up until I was like 24. I ended up going to federal prison doing five years for a drug conspiracy. Um, upon my release, I changed my life, uh, worked at Magianos for a year. Then after that, I dove into uh, entrepreneurship. And um, just in the in the snippet, that's that's kind of the logist of yeah. uh, how we're here today. Yeah, that's that's important, right? I mean, I wanted to just sort of dive into the humble beginnings that you came from, and and how much you had to overcome. I mean, being put out at 13 years old, you know, so many people watching this right now they can't even imagine what that's like, right? You're an entrepreneur. You're diverse in in your holdings uh, mm -hmm. and your ventures, um, but you also. Uh, you also are a small business owner, right? And so COVID-19 affected everybody, but as we all know, it's very clear now, small business owners were really, really affected. So let's just talk about what, what happened to you um, when the reality hit that things weren't just gonna be closed for a week or two. Well, because I run um, some of the business that I run, you know, uh, with me having our studios, we're going to start there. Um, I have tenants that are uh, barbers and I have salon suites and things of that nature. And so because those businesses are deemed uh, an essential, I had to uh, close down. And so that revenue was lost on that end. And then a lot of my uh, cleaning contracts um, canceled because they weren't open. So they was like, okay, we don't need your services. So I lost roughly about $400,000 in annual revenue within the first couple of weeks of COVID wow. hit. And so, you know, and, and, and I'm smart with my money, but that, that big of a blow still was substantial. Right. And, and of course my bills are still due. So with that, I thought that I would apply for the idle loan, which is the SBA loan as well. And they denied me because of uh, uh, my decade old felon, uh, felony. So I'm just, it, it's like, I can pay taxes, <laughs> but I can't tap into the resources that my tax money is being used for. And so, um, yeah, that's why I'm at right now, man. COVID's hit us hard, but you know, I'm a lion, man. So I'm gonna come out on the other side. Yes. Yeah, so